Hey, how you doing? This is Backcom Warning, and this is going to be an update on my general vendor's license for the veteran. And uh, well, I have some good news. I received all three of my licenses. Just uh, my my last one I got just today. So I'm really excited about it, and uh, I will be showing you what they look like, you know, towards the end of the video. Um, what, well, the, the step that I, the final step that I had to do to get my license and to get the renewal license uh, was uh, this. Um, I got a letter in the mail, and the, the letter indicated to come to 42 Broadway at the Department of Consumer Affairs to pick up your uh, your white and yellow general vendor's license. So uh, also inclu included in that was a an application that I could actually renew my uh, general vendor's license. I did not understand why they sent that. So I made sure I took everything with me and went to uh, pick up my licenses. And uh, so you have to go to the front window. Um, they give you a number. You know, you tell them what you what you need. You know, and they issue a number. Then you have to wait in a room. And when your number is called, um, when my number is called, I had to go in another room. And uh, they issued me my license. I inquired at that time why they also had um, sent me a letter indicating that. That I could renew my license at this time. I said, "Oh, well, your license is only um, good up to September, and you have to renew it uh, by that time. But uh, if you have the application, you know, you can fill it out and uh, renew it now." And so I said, "Okay." So I started filling out the paperwork, and uh, it uh, it required ten dollars. And there was some other things that it required that I didn't understand at the time. It, um, the form said something about a, a tax clearance certificate that was needed. And uh, so when I had gone to the window to give them my uh, application to renew, they indicated, hey, you know, this form is, is indicating that you have to go to another building and... Um, to, uh, submit these uh, documents with you know, to them. So I remember, I don't remember the exact details, but it was just a couple of blocks away from 42 Broadway in, Man in Manhattan. And um, it could have been, I'm trying to remember, it could have been um, the New York City Department of Finance office. They're located on 49 Maiden Lane. It could have been there that I went to, but I'm not 100% sure. But I, I'm indicating that because the the tax clearance certificate is actually addressed from them. So I might have had to actually go there and uh, submit the paperwork to them, and then they uh, mailed me the letter. Okay, that's what could have happened, you know. I'm just not 100% sure what office I went to, but it could have been them. Okay, so um, when I got down there, they they told me what I needed to do to get the tax clearance, and um, oh, I had to. I remember I had to uh, send them a, a copy of front and back of my old license, my old white license. Um, the also a photocopy. I remember everything was a photocopy. They have to hold on to it. I think it was the certificate of authority. Okay, that and um, this uh, application, and um, so they they processed it, and then they sent me today in the mail. This. this is what the uh, certificate, uh, tax clearance certificate looks like, okay? So, so, so this is a statement. So you take that form, th this form here, 
and then you attach it to your um, what do you call it? Your your um, fitness um, re renewal application, along with a, a ten dollar check. Okay, and um, that's that's addressed to the you know, signed to um, the, the CDR. The, um, I'm sorry, the Department of Consumer Affairs, that's a, the DCA, I meant to say, DCA, Department of Consumer Affairs at 42 Broadway. So that letter, the application, and the, um, the, the original um, license, you know, white license, and I um, brought in, let's see, Proof of address also they required and hmm, let's see, make sure anything else. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, so uh, I submitted to the to her and uh, she processed me right away. Initially, there was a problem regarding the letter that I got from the uh, uh, Department of Finance. I um, she said initially that. Uh, this is the wrong uh, letter or something to that effect and that the, the form required me to get, uh, I think it might have been a state clearance or something. Like let's say if this is a city one, they, the letter says something about a state clearance. So um, I, I wasn't sure what to say. I mean, this is what I got in the mail. And so she went to the computer and she, she was on it for a while, maybe five minutes. And then she said, "Okay, I could uh, process your uh, your renewal," and that's when I uh, wrote out the check to her, and she got me. I got my 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 renewed license, and that I want to show you. Okay, can you get it? <laughs> okay, this this is the new one. It's highly coveted. In New York City, the general vendor's license, and I met the woman that uh, decided the color on it. You see, it's a nice pink. She said, "Oh, did you see the?" She was like standing a couple of feet away from me. She said, "Oh, did you see the the color of the new vendor's license? It's it's a nice pink. I think you." So she said, "Oh, I think you would like it." I said, "Oh, really? Uh, what color is it?" And I'm thinking, "Oh, I hope it's pink." And yet. She said, yeah, it's pink. I said, oh, wow. <laughs> she said, the men there, uh, uh, the, you know, the men that got, that, that got their new license, the, the renewed one like, like I did, they didn't really like the new color of it, but I think it's neat, okay? And uh, this is my, okay, this one doesn't need to be renewed. This is my uh, Jenna Vendor's uh, Service connected license, also highly coveted in New York City. And last but not least is oh, I hope I didn't pick up the wrong one. Oh, this one I meant to show you. Uh, this is my my mobile food vendors license. That looks funny there. That's me. <laughs> Yeah, so I got all three of them, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm going to keep it in a safe place. But, you know, what I wanted to make sure that I share with you guys is um, there, there was some confusion initially to uh, in getting my licenses, and uh, a big part of it was, was me, my, my mistake. Well, in the process of getting these vendor's licenses, I had gotten a notice from um, the Department of Consumer Affairs at 42 Broadway that I um, didn't, that something that I, I no longer am going to get the license or something, uh, that there was some mistake, and so they dropped my application. So I was wondering what's going on. So I, I contacted her, you know, the office upon getting the notice. And he said, oh, just disregard that letter. We had made a mistake um, when we processed you the first time. And 
when we had to make the correction, it automatically generated this letter that you're referring to. Uh, so just disregard it, okay? So I so I kept that letter and I wrote my my notes on it, indicating what was what was said and when they said it. You know, in case something happened, you know, happened in the future that they didn't issue it to me, I have my backup. So, um, so they said, we'll, we'll continue to process your licenses. And then I think shortly after that, I got another letter, another, like a, a form letter. It, it was two, two duplicates. And it really didn't say much, I thought. I, I thought it was, a, a, you know, those junk letters that you get from, the, you know, these agencies that didn't make sense. Well, I made a mistake. They were serious with this other letter. It was dated um, July 7th, okay? And I just responded to this letter maybe two weeks ago, you know? So, so it was close to, what was that, a, a month later that I waited. I don't know what happened, but I think, I think that's what happened, that I got it and I didn't think it was anything. And um, I just, for, for whatever reason, I kept both letters in my folder, you know. And for whatever reason, I went back into my file and I looked at this form letter and I said, you know, I think I better address this uh, letter. And I contacted the office and, yeah, <laughs> let me show you what, she, what they wrote. It's just a plain letter, like nothing really is filled out on it. They, they wrote something on the top. It says, letter from VA on service disability connected tax card inactive, whatever happened. I didn't know what they were talking about, you know. But they had all my information on my, my, my service disability connected letter, you know. But that's, that's one of the essential documents to, to, for them to just initiate my license, uh, my general dentist license. So that's why I thought it was just nothing. But um, yeah, they, they were serious. So um, they, so I had to, um, when I finally got someone on the phone, um, they, they told me we, we need your veterans papers. So I emailed it to the, the person and uh, then I followed it up with another phone call uh, to make sure she received it. And she received all the documents. And she said, we will process your application right away. And she did. And that's when she generated the letter for me to come pick up my general, general vendor's license, which um, I picked up just um, a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago. And then today... I uh, got, I'm sorry, um, today I got the, uh, the tax clearance certificate so that I can renew that uh, white light vendor's license. So my point in mentioning this latter part of this video is that anytime you get a notice from any agency, any special government agency, you make sure you call or you go there in person Make sure you get a person's name and the date you spoke to them and uh, inquire what that document is and let them tell you that it's junk mail, whatever, and, and you could discard it. But uh, just make sure because if I didn't respond to it, they would have closed my file and I wouldn't have gotten it. I was wondering what was taking so long for them to process it because it was going close to two months. And uh, it, it was supposed to be maybe just uh, four weeks, you know. So I'm glad uh, that somehow I, I did decide to respond to it and um, to, you know, do what was necessary to get it. But one thing I noticed with this whole process, from start to finish, you have to be organized. You have to keep everything, keep all your documents in a folder, you know, and somewhere that is easy access for you to get. 
And so if you need to make a phone call or go to the, the office to, you know, the, the agency to pick up, you know, whatever you need to pick up, you know, all your information is right there, you know, and to, you know, follow up on everything, you know, and don't, don't take for granted that what they're sending you is inaccurate or, or it's not needed, like in this case, the uh, renewal application, I didn't realize that the general vendor's license is only good for one year, you know, and if you got issued your license towards the end of that cycle, of when your license is, is to be renewed, you know, it, it, you know, you have to be on top of it, okay? So that is my story. And uh, so please feel free to uh, share this video with your friends or family and other veterans that you know of so that uh, we, you know, empower ourselves. And again, you don't have to use the license, but you have to make sure you renew it when you need to renew it. And you have to file your taxes quarterly. So whether you earned a, a penny or zero or a million bucks, you have to file, okay, quarterly. And it's done on the computer. It's done online or when you do your, uh, your, your tax, you know, for, for your, uh, General Vendor's license. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you know, let me know what comments you have, and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, and as I say, uh, to give me the thumbs up. Okay, so peace to you guys. Bye bye.